Hello there, Aries. It's so good to see you again. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. So today we are doing your June general tarot reading. So we'll take a look at the overall energies with the oracle cards, and then we'll move to the tarot for more details. And if you're enjoying the content that I create or resonating with the message, I'd really appreciate it if you would consider like, commenting, or subscribing. I really do appreciate all of your support. Okay, let's get into your reading. Spider spirit, make your dreams real. I think you're building a web. You know, you're building a web. The thing I'm getting is almost like a dream catcher. This energy of, of not letting your dream get by is the energy that I'm getting. So I um, the thing that I'm kind of picking up on is that there could have been something that got by you in the past so you know the love of your life got away you know uh the dream job went to somebody else your dream house went under contract the day before you were putting a contract on it it's kind of like something got away <laughs> in the past and it's this determination that it's, it's not getting past you this time. It's, um, it's, it's like, um, building such a big web that there's no way your dream <laughs> could go either side of your web. It was like this, this time is my time. That's how I feel. The end of a tough cycle approaches full moon and Capricorn. Yeah. Put it, you know, Capricorn is all about putting the hard work into it. But it's this energy of, um, yeah, I'm, I'm building this. You know, last time, maybe you built a, a small web and you thought that would be enough. This time, it's like, this is not, I am not skimping on my work in getting this dream. I am making this web as big as I possibly feel like I need to. Yeah, because I feel like the last time something got away from you, a person, a situation, a relationship, a house, you know, um, it doesn't matter what it was. It, it, it was kind of like it led you to a tough cycle, you know, maybe it was an investment opportunity, right? And you didn't, you, you just didn't take it, uh, take, take it, right? And now it's kind of like, oh man, you know, but. The message here is that it wasn't the right time yet. You know, now you know how much more this means to you. Whether this is a person you want in your life, the job of your dreams, building your own business. It's kind of like it almost had to slip through your fingers before so that now you know just how important this is to you, to the sea, allowing this Allowing this, uh, allowing the sadness of it not working out in the past, not preventing you from working hard on it this time. Really interesting energy. Okay, let's go to the chart. Let's get some more details for you. Six of Swords. Yeah. Moving on. Moving on from the disappointment of something in the past. The tough cycle. Okay. Okay. It did not work out that time. That's fine. I'm moving on. Starting and fresh. New balanced energy. You know, I, I love the Six of Pentacles because it really does mean, um, yeah, Ten of Swords on the bottom. I feel like you had some type of a, a, well, it's the end of a tough cycle. I think you had a difficult ending or situation. You know, uh, it doesn't have to be an ending, but it could be, you know, a really disappointing situation. Something that got, I really feel like that got away from you. So here we go. This is your present energy. Six of pentacles, tower, six of swords, fool, star on the bottom. You're going after your wishes and dreams. You're putting it out there. You are not, <laughs> I'm telling you, there's a sense of determination, fiery passion, I was like, oh, it could be something, somebody from the past. Um, you know, 
just really and truly like, you know, moving on from a tower moment. And it could be a little bit of epiphany. You know, we have the new moon in Gemini coming up next week. It's all about passions, you know, big picture, lofty dreams. And it's kind of like, okay, I am going after this. I'm getting in this boat and I'm going over. I'm talking to that person. I'm getting that job. I'm starting that business, whatever it is. Knowing that you're on a new path and that tough cycle has ended, you know, you're moving on from the tower moment in your life, moving away from it. And I really do feel like the tower is representing two things here, the past difficult cycle, but also the epiphany of it's over. Like, have you ever gotten to that point where it's like enough is enough, moving on? Well, I think you're having that moment <laughs> or you're about to have that moment. It, you may have been like floating along for a little while, feeling a little sorry for yourself. And now it's like, nope, done. Ready to move on. I really like it. It's um, okay. Page of Swords this is your area of resistance. Okay. So Page of Swords represents a message, a message you could be sending to somebody a message somebody could be sending to you. It's a truth. Page of Swords on the bottom again. Okay, this is your area of resistance or your obstacle over the next month. Yeah, I feel, I feel like you're getting a message from somebody that you truly love in the past. Could be a Gemini, doesn't have to be. But some situation from the past. Uh, wants, wants to be heard <laughs> or you want to spot, to, to talk to it. There's, you know, I, I feel like this is, this is the, um, the situation that you are trying to get over. And, you know, just as you get into this energy of moving into the next cycle, somebody from the past reaches out or you, you, you know, one of those two o'clock in the morning things, you know, you, you reach out to them. Um, wanting, you know, a fresh start, a new cycle. So it, this is kind of similar to Leo's, um, reading. So, uh, if you have any Leo in your chart, you're dealing with Leo, you may want to watch that reading too. But you know, this energy that you get to the end of a tough cycle, the cycle is ending, right? You're about to start a new fresh cycle right? Because you have the full card here, about to start this new cycle. And just as you're about to step into the new cycle, the energy of the old doesn't want you to step into the new cycle. So it's like pulling you back. You know, this is like somebody from the past calling you up or the energy of something from the past calling you up, you know, and it doesn't literally have to be on the phone, right? But just those energies, those feelings, those emotions are coming up. And it's kind of like, oh, should I repeat this tough cycle again with this person or situation? So here is your advice. Seven of Pentacles. Where are you going to put your time and energy? Um, it's about... But we all can make choices about where we put our time and energy. Um, and I know a lot of times like we, we try to pretend that we don't have total control over our time and energy, but we do. We get to make those choices. Wow. King of Pentacles on the bottom. Um, grounded energy. Ten of Pentacles. Wanting something that will last a lifetime. That's not going to be a, an ending, a tough, difficult ending. Wanting things to work out. You're putting your time and energy in things. Okay, so this is your advice. Putting your time and energy into people's situations, situa people's situations, careers, jobs, whatever it is that you want to have in your life forever. Your legacy. What is your legacy? Maybe that's part of it, is figuring out what your legacy is about, you know, loving, forgiving, allowing your legacy to come forward. 
to working. You know, the three of pentacles is also about working with spirit, your intuition, putting your time and energy into those, those things, those people, those relationships, those situations that you know are going to be around for a long time. So I think one thing is, Aries, is this past situation. Was it in and out of your life? Because one of the things is, is that, you know, you're, you're building this big net because you want something that is going to last a long time. You're ready to commit to something that will last a long time. Perhaps in the past, you, you built a smaller web because you weren't really sure about what it is that you really wanted in your life. So you were like, well, if, if it gets trapped into this smaller web, then maybe it's meant for me, right? But things maybe were zooming past you for a while. And now you're kind of like, things aren't zooming past me anymore. Because now I know I'm ready to commit to something. And I feel like there there's something or someone that you are you either you're expressing a little love or they're expressing a little love, but it's it's spirit is asking you to put your time and energy into this if you feel like it is something you want long term. So in other words, if you want a long-term committed relationship, right? Uh, you're no longer going to date casually. I mean, that doesn't mean that you don't go out on a date or two or three to try to figure some, you know, is this, uh, is this going to last long term? Is this going to grow into a long term committed relationship? If you're seeing the signs, you're saying no. Okay. If, I mean, if you see the signs that say, no, this is not somebody I, I could be married to, right? Then you move on. You say, you say your goodbyes in a nice way, close out that energy, and then move on to the next person, right? It's about understanding that um, you're being asked, what is it that you want to commit to, right? And putting your time and energy into building, <laughs> building, um, building a, a web that is big enough that can hold it. Maybe you were just uh, going for small fish in the past, you know, small jobs, small relationships, so just a small life. That's not really like you, Aries, but maybe part of this tough cycle here was that you got into an energy of just attracting the small fish, you know, just needing a smaller net to catch smaller fish. And now it's kind of like, no, I want, I want, I want big fish. Yeah. Knight of cups means you have to put more heart and love into it. Right. Um, I love this energy though. You know, building something that is stable, financial, that is good for you, looking after you, right? And we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress. I know we have the King of Pentacles at one time, you know, wanting a new life, stable, grounded, nurturing, nurturing to you, nurturing to the people in your life, and that you're willing to go out and seek it. Yeah, I just feel uh, there's this energy of really that small fish is really resonating. <coughs> mm, excuse me. Whereas, you know, I can see like a little kid version of you having one of those little minnow nets, you know, and standing by the side of a river and just trying to catch the little minnows, you know. Well, let me see what I can catch, you know. But now it's kind of like you've grown up like you're the adult version of yourself and it's kind of like no i want to be able to really feed my family i need a bigger fish you know um and really buying a reel and rod and bait <laughs> have it or or a really big net to whom am i comparing myself right now interesting what you are able to see in another is only visible because it is within you, ready to be brought out. Shine light onto this feeling of not enough and see the truth. 
All that you need and want is within you. So I think that's interesting because I wonder if you're feeling like a little fish in a big pond. And you're kind of like, wait a minute, I want to be the big fish. You know, a, a sense of, I used to be the little fish, now I want to be the big fish. And putting your time and energy into it, whatever that means, you know. You know, even in love, it's kind of like you may have in the past dated people that were not going to commit. But that was because part of you wasn't really ready to commit. So that was okay. And now it's kind of like you might have a lot of friends that are getting married and having children, right? And you're like, whoa, wait a minute. I want that too. I want that too. So it's understanding that that is also within you. You can also have that. You may have to change your perspective of how you go about life. But it is understanding that you do have that within you. You are perfectly imperfect. <laughs> I love that. You know, lots of green there. Heart chakra. You know, that energy of really getting into your heart space. Understanding what it is that you truly want for yourself. And now going out and getting it. All right, well, I'm going to leave it there, Aries. Really lovely energy here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider like, commenting, or subscribing. I also do do personal readings. The link is in the description box below. But I do wish you so much love and light in this situation and all your situations. And I do hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.